Howdy, Possum Patty, and look who's back, little Miss TT. Yeah, she's, she's still a little sick. She is feeling better today, though, yes. She is feeling better today, and she wanted to come in and thank everyone for all the prayers and well wishes. <laughs> yes, for her to get better. I did make a little short, and I'll link that below, about her trip to the vet. Yes, it was very traumatic for her. But now she's home, and she's doing better. And she hasn't come in here in quite a while, so. Yeah. She still needs to get over her congestion. She still needs to gain back some weight. And her back legs are still stiff, but she's a trooper. She's getting around. Yes, she is getting around. She will be 18 years of age. Yes, yeah, she's an old, old lady. <laughs> a little older than Possum Patty, yeah. Because <laughs> I think in cat years, 18 is around oh, 84 or 87 or 89 years old or something like that. Yeah, a little under 90 years old. Well, I've been doing a lot of October journaling, a lot of Halloween stuff and seasonal stuff and harvest things, but there's more to October than all that. Yes, October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. And so I thought I would do a little page because in October I did get my mammogram and my breast ultrasound done. And I have my report from that. And while I was there, because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, <laughs> they gave me a little pink bag, yes, with a little pink ribbon on there for breast cancer awareness. So I got out my Emma, my shabby chic journal, because it's pink. And I got out some pink paper that I found in the closet. This is all secondhand paper from the flea market. And remember, I just hauled these, right? These little Valentine things. Are you going to sneeze? Yeah, she's still sneezing and coughing. When she does that, I have to put her down. She doesn't like to be in my lap when she's sneezing. And I got the, the chipboards and the letters. All pink for Valentine's Day. But I figured hearts, right? That all goes good. And what else? Oh, somewhere in here is my, my report. Where did I put that? I'll find that in a second. Oh, see, now she's getting down. And let's see what else. Oh, and a few things from the Dollar Tree to help us do a breast cancer awareness page. Yes, come on along. Okay, first what I got from the Dollar Tree I got this breast cancer awareness. A portion of the proceeds from the sale of this product will go to support breast cancer research, treatment, and education. And it's just the you know regular pen that has the pink ribbon on it. It's got some little sparklies there. So I'll use that to do my journaling. I've got this wonderful like refrigerator uh, magnet. Also breast cancer awareness, so a portion of proceeds goes to support that. Pink is more than just a pretty color. I got the breast cancer awareness buttons, girl power, the pink ribbon, live, love, fight, and her fight is my fight. And I'm sure, sorry about the glare. Well, I'm sure we all have a family member or a friend or a friend of a family member, yes, that has fought the breast cancer fight. So that's why this month is so important to remember this. So we need to support our friends. I lost a dear friend, Monica, oh, about seven years ago to breast cancer. And some pictures of us on vacation in Antigua. <laughs> oh, look at the pink bird. I picked this because it was a pink ibis. And well, that's that's me. <laughs> that's me. And that's my friend, Monica. And this is Monica by that big fan palm tree there. 
And yes, we had a great little vacation. We we're kind of celebrating her divorce. <laughs> it was like a divorce celebration. Um, yes, we had a wonderful time in, in Antigua together. And oh, Titi's playing with her toy now. She got down and she's playing with her toy. And it's so good to see her play with her toy after being so sick. And if you've been in this community for for a while now or a long time possum peep, uh, you might know Linda from Linda's Mixed Up Mess. We lost her to cancer not that long ago. And right now, um, a friend of my sister is fighting the fight right now. She's in chemotherapy with uh, her breast cancer. I did haul these before, these pink and gold butterflies from the Dollar Tree vellum. And I just got them out. I don't know if I'll use them today, but I just love that they were hearts and that there were pink and gold butterflies there. So I don't know what I'm gonna use. I might use some of this. And then this is my, this is my report. I wanna put that in a pocket. And I love this with the owls. It's, it's not really the same as that chipboard that I got the other day, which is, boy, I'm losing things today. <laughs> Way at the bottom of the pile. But I do love the fact that there's these little owls on a tree and we got little owls and trees. And I love the heart flowers. And I love these letters. And I love these little chipboards. So I've got a lot of things to work with. Plus I just pulled some other pink paper out because I'm not really sure what I'm doing. If I don't use the owls, I might want to use some pink flowers or I might want to use this. It says, well, this is about tea. A cup of tea warms the soul like a good friend. But I just thought it was pretty in pink. We've got green on the back. So we'll be using something from that. I'm going to move them for right now. Just get these things out of the way. All right. Now, I was wondering if somehow, <laughs> and it's kind of big, hmm, I might have to modify this. Let me just very quickly, these pages aren't done. That was my cataract surgery. And I just had my checkup, so now I, I should finish up those pages. I just had my post-surgery checkup for the cataract surgery. And all these are done. No, this one's not done. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there's one there that's not done, and there's one there that's not done. And there's one there that's not done. Let me see what else we have. That was the fair. Why is that clip there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, that paper is clipped there. Do you remember why? I don't. I was going to use something there. Oh, here's my fairies and my roses. That was so much fun. My ghost cats and my journaling. Yeah, you see, this journal is almost finished, and I do have some autumn journaling in here. So, I don't know why this is here. I don't remember. What if, hmm, <laughs> I could, I could, I could cut this canvas. I know, he's like bound and determined to use this because that's what I got, right? <laughs> that's what I got. Like this. I can just cut a piece of this canvas and sew it onto a paper. And this will be the pocket. And I'll put my report in there. Or I can make a big journaling card with a pocket in the journaling card and put this in the you know, like a little hidden pocket and put this inside. Oh, and then because this is material, this is canvas, I can put these buttons on here, can't I? <gasps> yes, I can. Ooh, yes. 
I can do that. I had some of these pink ribbons around that were already tied like that. I don't know where they are right now, but that's okay. Cause I think I got plenty here to do this with. You know, I just, I love taking, <laughs> taking something I get like this bag. All right. And then trying to work a, like a whole journal page around this. All right. So let's pick some paper for the background. You know, I want to use this, right? And this is nice and heavy, almost like a plastic. So if I cut this down to size to fit the page and I, I don't need a double spread anymore, so I can go back and fill in something. Yeah, since it's fall, I think I will put it in this, this signature here. And I still want to fill in those other pages though, but Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. There's not that much more to do in this journal. Oh, maybe if I do a page in here every once in a while, I can finish at least this journal up by the end of the year. And then a couple of journals, I have like one signature finished. And that'll be like my, yeah, my big accomplishment <laughs> for the year. That's a little damaged up there. So I think I'll take it from the bottom. And I'll leave a little border around. So I'm going to cut this a little, a little shorter than what the page actually is. Something like that. So I'll cut this down and then I will cut this down because this is so plastic like I might just sew this on here. Alrighty, so I cut the paper down. I cut the front of the pink bag down. I did add some pink sparkly ribbon there, yes. Then I put the buttons on and I sewed it like a pocket. Now it's quite heavy with the buttons and this canvas on there. So I think I'm gonna use the Fabri-Tac to hold this down. I don't believe a glue stick will do the job. <laughs> Nope, I don't think so. So, so I'm just going to smear this with Fabri-Tac. And then while this is drying, I have to make a journal card. I'm just winging this, right? <laughs> I'm just winging it. I brought out all these things and now I'm designing this as I go along to use up some of these supplies. I did put the pocket a little bit higher. Sometimes I like to see a little bit of the uh, background paper across the bottom. Makes like a little border. I like that look sometimes. Press this all down really well. Now, isn't that fun? <laughs> all right, so put that aside up there in that giant pile of things and so I've got this sheet of paper, which I believe does go with the background paper. See the pinks and the grays and the green. And what if I used the pink section or it doesn't matter? Maybe a little bit of green on there. I'll make a journaling card. What do we put on the back? Hmm. What do we put on the back? Let's look at my pile here. I've got this pink paper, which would be good for journaling on. This is just pink distressed. I can glue that on the back and then journal on this. And then maybe to the front. Put those owls and let's see, what else can I use? <laughs> Do you only get one of each letter? No, you get upper and lower case. There's probably not enough letters to write breast cancer awareness. <laughs> no, I will work that out. So I am going to just take a moment and cut this down to size to fit in the pocket. 
So I cut the heavy cardstock. I glued the paper to the back, the pink paper. And I think I'm gonna put it in this way like that. I like the way that looks. So this is the top. I'm going to reach over here through this mess. I know. Have I put anything away? No. <laughs> there we go. Maybe tomorrow. So that's my card. Let me move that out of the way for a minute. And you know what? I've got this. Instead of using those letters, I think I'm going to use this. But I'm going to use some of this vellum. Now, this is a very pretty vellum I got, you know, at the Dollar Tree. And I love the butterflies on there. So I think what I'm going to do is glue this down like a pocket. I know this is a uh, pocket on a journaling card in a pocket. But let me get this right. So I'm gonna use the Fabri-Tac again. And this just fits on here. Actually, I might bring that down a little bit. Make it even with the bottom because I want to put things in at the top. Now I have to cut the vellum a little bit. Well, I was gonna put little magnets behind here and just like put magnets on here and then put this on here like with a magnet, but the magnets don't seem to be holding it down very well. So I'm gonna try Fabri-Tac and see if that works. <laughs> it might work, it might work. I have the little magnets like from the Dollar Tree and I thought they would uh, be good to hold this down. But it's just, it's not, uh, no, <laughs> it's just not doing anything. So let me stand up. I bet you if I just leave this sit overnight, it'll be fine. Why is that corner popping up? Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Everything stay down. Yes, stay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we got to do the owls on the other side. All right. So that's one side decorated. But we have this side to decorate too. Okay, let me open this up. This is like a sticker, but it's like um, a cardstock sticker. There. I put a little extra glue on it. Cause these gotta be old. Things I get at the flea market are pretty old. I love it. I love it. Oh, his little heart is separate. Oh, I got to get that, that little heart right there. Put some glue on it. Too much glue. Now what? <laughs> now what? Okay. So, oh, this was the pocket. I was going to put my report in. So this is my mammogram report. So that's going to go in there like that. Right behind that magnet. Right there. And then this goes in the other pocket. Well, I love it. I love it. All this pink. Yes. I love this background with the owls. 
I love that I took, <laughs> I cut up my pouch. Yes, I cut up my pink pouch, but that's okay. It's very meaningful this way. Yes, using it in the, on the journal page makes it even more meaningful than just like maybe sticking some pencils in it or something. And I've got my buttons from the Dollar Tree and sparkly ribbon and paper from the flea market and more owls from the flea market and my pink butterfly vellum from the Dollar Tree and my pink is more than just a pretty color magnet from the Dollar Tree and my, my little mammogram report inside there. I might I might add a little journaling here, a little personal journaling over there. And then I might come back and do some more journaling about my friend who passed from breast cancer on this page. Yes, I might do that because I still I still got a lot of this paper and you know little little things. I know they're happy Valentine's Day, but that's okay. I'm using them because they're pink. Well, this is a little bit different of an October page. Yes, very pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I'm, I'm just so happy that I got those things from the Dollar Tree into the journal. And I got my mammogram report in there. And I, and I cut up my little canvas bag, but that's okay. I still have some nice material left here. I could use that in a journal or maybe for slow stitching, yes. So I'm going to save that. I use the vellum. I love that. Yeah, a little bit different kind of journaling page for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And, you know, if you have a story that you'd like to share, please feel free to do that in the comments below. Happy junk journaling. Bye-bye.